Right, I've got a bit of a problem because uh, this is my prop for the video and also my breakfast so I'm not allowed to have a breakfast until I finish with the video. <laughs> Hi, I'm Matt and this is Not Enough Tech. Got a question for you. What do you keep inside of your pocket? Probably your telephone, a neat Spider-Man wallet, and a multimeter because I don't go anywhere without... What? I also sometimes carry some headphones that look like this or like this. But what I definitely don't carry in my pocket is this. Now, in the past, if someone showed me this and said this is pocket and didn't add the meter at the bottom of it, I would think about this as a, some sort of strange yo-yo device that you probably play with when you're bored. But this, in fact, is a multimeter. So I'm here to talk about pocket multimeter. And what's so amazing about it is the actual size. Just take a look at it. I also have a banana for scale. So how does it work? It's equipped with Bluetooth, which links to your phone, and you can use a pocket a meter app to read the data from the pocket meter. Now granted this device, it's not a specialized device that can handle high voltages, it's limited to 60 volt DC or 42 volt AC power, but this is not what it's aimed for. The high portability means that you can keep it in your toolbox without cluttering it with a regular size multimeter. Don't get put off by the device initial limitations because Pocket has more than one trick inside his sleeve. Apart from being a regular multimeter, it can act as a spectrum analyzer or oscilloscope and a data logger too. So the question is, how accurate a pocket meter is? Hmm, I guess let's take it to a hack space and find out. So we're starting with the voltage? So we start with voltage. Okay, so that, that is a sine wave, 100 hertz, one, one volt peak to peak. Okay, I have a meter was 36. Maybe it's reporting. Yeah. Whether we tested DC or AC voltage, it didn't make much difference. The readings were accurate. We also tested frequency of a sine wave, which was accurate. However, uh, measuring it was uh, slightly difficult because it requires you to position the markers in the correct place, which can be hard when using a touchpad. Further on, we use oscilloscope to test the different waveforms. So we had a square wave reporting about 0.9 volts on average. Then Thomas decided to show me the limitation of the actual uh, pocket meter by going out of the range on my pocket meter and you can see I could not uh, get the details available on the professional uh, laboratory equipment. Now lastly we had some little bit more play with the different sine waves and I can see uh, regardless of uh, the waveform we throw at it, as long as it was within the range of the uh, spectrum analyzer, it was able to pick it up and actually measure it uh, within the specification. I'm fully aware that if trying to solve a problem that could be resolved with a $15 multimeter sourced from China, however, if you want to have something cool and small, well, that's the premium price for you. What's lacking in a pocket meter, in my opinion, is the ability to generate the waveform and measure capacitance of the capacitors, which is often present in multimeters like this. Pocket meter isn't actually the only product of their page. After a successful crowdfunding campaign, Pocket Pro is slightly bigger brother of the pocket meter that supports uh, voltage ranges up to 600 volts. So if you are looking for something more portable than your hmm, traditional and a bulky multimeter, you might take a look because the pre-order price is just slightly more than the pocket advertised price of $89. Currently, pre-orders for the Pro versions are $95 and you can order it uh, through the website. My toolbox is a mess and I don't think moving forward I'll be adding this to the pile of cables and extra weight. Pocket is small enough and decent enough for me to work with and unless I've got a, some high voltage uh, work in mind in the future, that stays home.
I would like to thank the Pocket Sync for sending me one for the review. It's been a pleasure looking at the other device and I'm looking forward to the Pocket Pro. Now, as usual guys, I do not have a posting schedule, so if you're interested in any of my content, it's best to follow me on any social media of your choice. That way you're gonna get notified when the new article is out or when I release a new video. As for now, that's probably everything I've got for you today, so thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video. Take care! Bye! And this is how YouTube is made. <laughs>